The first infinite spatial dimension is built from an infinite number of the previous dimension distributed fairly in space. The previous spatial dimension is the zeroth, and because the zeroth holds no properties by definition, the first dimension will also hold no properties. There is no direction because we took the most removed perspective. This line is not aware of the direction it exists relative to the screen, as how it is rendered on the screen is logically isolated from the dimension. However, as soon as we make this line, we are introducing two directions from within the system. The key thing to understand here is that because we axiomatically define there to be an infinite number of zeroth dimensions, there must be exactly zero distance between zeroth dimensional points. Because if there was any distance between these points, we could fit another point. And that would go against our definition of infinity. But for many of you algebraists, this initially doesn't seem useful, because the system is exactly describing zero times infinity equals undefined. We have a distance of zero being infinitely certain, and infinite points being infinitely certain. So how do we see our line? This is where the distinction between a rendered value and a value within the system comes in. The distance between zeroth dimensions in a first dimension is a rendered value. This is a really big deal. In the logical system, the distance is exactly zero, but in this rendered system, the distance is this many pixels. This is a very important distinction to make. Only when you define the zeroth dimension to have some rendered length can you say that a first infinite spatial dimension has system closure under rendering. By system closure, we mean that a line of 10 points and a line of 10,000 look exactly the same from the perspective of the viewer. They both appear to be solid lines, or first infinite spatial dimensions. But this can only occur when the line with 10 points has zeroth dimensions rendered thick enough to complete the solid line. If we remove all rendered values, which are only necessary for observation, the logical system of all spatial dimensions, zeroth, first, second, third, and beyond, exists within an unobservable space. We call this unobservable because the rendered values were required for us to observe the system. Without them, then the render will never complete. Now, we can begin to explain the second infinite spatial dimension.